Philadelphia just gave you a defensive play? Yeah, no, we um, we were we were with the time left. We had talked about it on the sideline to to kind of slow the pace there at the end. Um, you know, and it's just something you got to try to do, right? You can try to if you can, you know, you stay in bounds, you stay in bounds, or if, if it's incomplete, you play another down, whatever it is. But it's still, the bottom line is too, we still needed to score, and and um, you know, felt felt good too with the way our defense had played. Um, they would give us a shot. What was uh, was that the first option play that the earnest um, was the design? Of the yeah, game? he's the he's the first read. Um, great play by seventeen. Do you think? In, I mean, could you milk a little more of the clock run? Did you have every bit of the playbook open in that situation? I don't understand the question, but I guess yes. I mean, you you got a minute and forty something left on the clock. I think it was first down, something like that. I mean, yeah, that's it's still. It's still part of our red zone game plan. It wasn't like we were forcing a throw into the end zone. You know what I'm saying? It was part of our red zone game plan. You know, so um, great play by 17. How much was Brian impacted by the injury today? Just the just the usage. I don't think a whole lot. Um, if you watch the game, they they clouded him quite a bit. And you guys still kind of getting used to the subs at, at wide receiver with Trammell and Cooks and how that impacts the way things are run and called? Um, n- no. It uh, doesn't impact the way, way we do anything. Um, you know, it's, it's why you practice during the week, right? You put these guys in situations that uh, uh, hopefully to, to go out and make plays, you know. Um, and um, but it didn't impact it didn't impact anything offensively. How hard is this? Uh, you guys obviously keep battling, battling, and just can't come out on the right side. It seems like it's tough. It's tough. We got to just keep fighting. What does it say that you did? I mean, it was a pretty ugly first half. Yes, it's, it's a, uh, you know a resilient group. Um, hats off. I mean, there, some guys played played banged up. I mean, Brandon Scherf, my hat's off to him. He played he played hurt all game, you know, and Ton goes back in the game, and, you know, it's just – it's it's that time of the year, right? I mean, guys are going to be – guys are going to be sore. Guys are going to be hurting. Uh, but my hat's off to those guys for, uh, you know, for hanging in there. Any updates on Cooper or any other guys that were um, – Not yet. Um, Cooper – I know they took him to the hospital just to check it out, um, but as far as that, that's all really I know right now. Anton came back. Anton came back. Doug, the, the slow starts have been something we've talked about all year, and I guess it's eight, nine games, whatever it is. Do you kind of just have to plan that that's going to be your identity early in games at this point? Or you know, I'm not I'm not one to kind of settle on that. I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep challenging players. Um, and we have to get better. So I'm not going to settle on the fact that, uh, you know, it is what it is, obviously. But but we're gonna we're gonna roll up our sleeves and go to work and try to keep it, you know, try to keep it moving and try to fix it. Something you could try that you haven't tried already. I mean, I don't want to. Um, let me think. First down, second down, third down. Um, yeah, I guess we just need to coach better. I mean, does it come down to just execution? It seems like there's drops, there's missed throws, miss whatever. It, is it just execution at this point? I mean, to his question, yeah, how much more can you guys do? Coach better. Anybody else? Uh, you get uh, the big plays, uh, third 18 touchdown. 22 touchdown. Uh, even another big play on that drive. Are those guys? I mean, are they making good plays there, or are you guys missing? No, those are just great plays. I mean, I know on the, you know, on the, the run, it was it was a draw, and and there were opportunities, but you know, um, credit them. You know, I mean, they made they made the plays. A heck of a catch in the back of the end zone. Great run. Um, yeah, good plays by them. What what is their attitude in, in the locker room like after this one? Is a little bit more anger after this one, or they're they're hurting, they're disappointed, like I am, um, frustrated. So yeah. Is this 
harder than other times to process for you so some of the stuff, the good stuff that's going on that's still not resulting in some of the plays that are getting made, uh, Trayvon play, or things that turn around the game, or last week Ingram make a big play, but you're still not. Is that hard for you to process, or is that just the league? Well, I mean, it's hard to process when you lose, right? But um, I, I do think there are some great plays out there, you know, and that's one of them. Trayvon's play, obviously. Um, you know, we, we capitalized on two two-point conversions in the game. Um, you know, so there are some there are some good plays. You know, it's some it's just not it's just not consistent enough. Okay, coach. Thank you.